Hello. Today's the day. Today is the day we take Frankie out on her very first holiday with us. Well, mini break. We're going away for three nights and I would be lying if I said I wasn't just a teensy bit nervous. Um, even though I spent two and a half hours towing her home when I picked her up, this feels slightly different. Um, basically I know the journey there, there's a, there's a little tricky bit over a humpback bridge which is very narrow and a bit nerve-wracking. Um, but also this time I've got the most precious cargo in the world to me. I'll have my son with me and of course Amber and Perry, my dog and cat. Um, and she'll be fully laden. Uh, so of course I've also got to set up when I get there, which I've never done before. Um, but yeah, so th there is a bit of anxiety there. Um, about the towing and the setting up and the hitching up and, and, and the, 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 the everything. A little bit. There is. And a huge amount of excitement. Um, I've spent, well, as you know, the last few weeks preparing her and getting her ready. This week I've uh, prepared my checklist. Um, whenever I feel anxiety over anything, my go-to is to create lists. Um, because that way I know I haven't forgotten anything um, or I can't forget anything. Um, in my head I've got images of when people have left their motor movers engaged onto the tyres and forgotten to disengage them before pulling away. Um, and I don't want to do that so I've, that's on my checklist. <sighs> Little things like that just so that I don't forget. I've already completed half of my checklist. Um, probably more than half actually. Um, I've loaded up the caravan um, correctly so the weight is evenly distributed where it should be on the floor over the axles. I've checked her nose weight. Um, I did that as soon as I've finished loading her up. Um, I've checked the tyre pressures, <sighs> that the lockers are all shut and locked and the roof vents are all closed and the windows and, and things like that, all the cupboards, the lockers are all closed and locked. Um, <laughs> we'll see how successful that was when we arrive at our destination but right now I'm just picking my son up from school and see his excited little face because he'll be counting down, down the counting down the sleeps for the last uh, fortnight since I booked this little trip away. Um, so it's super duper exciting, especially to a nine year old, our first time in Frankie. So yeah, it's exciting. This is it, Frankie's attached to the back. The dog, the cat and the kit are all in the vehicle and we're off. It's raining. Well, as you can see, we've arrived. It is absolutely chucking it down outside and seriously windy. So not the best weather for us to be setting up on site for the very first time, but we made it, we did it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would end this video by letting everybody know what my checklist was um, for, for leaving home with a caravan. Um, and it is as follows. Uh, make sure all cupboards are closed and secure, including the fridge. Check the windows, doors and roof lights are closed. Open all the taps and drain screw if that's not already done, mine was. Load this floor space correctly, vitally important if you want a happy toe. Check the nose weight, also vitally important. Check the gas is turned off, remove the hitch lock, cover and wheel lock. Obviously you won't get very far otherwise. 
Uh, check the tyre pressure and wheel nuts. Switch on the motor mover isolation and engage the motor mover. Fit the towing mirrors. Lift the stabilising legs. Ensure the external doors and lockers are locked. Remove the handbrake and chocks. Maneuver off the drive. So I did that with my motor mover. Line up to the tow bar. Again, I did that with my motor mover. Attach the hitch and breakaway cable. I got a bit mucky doing that. I had to lean on the floor. Um, lift the hitch to check securely attached. And I did, I gave it some white welly and I did it again with the jockey wheel. Oh, it's very windy. Uh, lift up and stow the jockey wheel otherwise it's going to get damaged. Attach the electric plug and check the lights. Then disengage the motor mover and switch off the isolation switch and pull away safely. And that was it, basically. Um, towing her fully laden was definitely different to towing her unladen um, when I bought her. I could definitely feel her on the back this time as opposed to last time. Um, but she still felt steady and stable. Um, traffic was a nightmare. Friday evening, rush hour was terrible. Um, but we got on the site, we found the pitch and check me out. I reversed onto my pitch. Okay, it wasn't perfectly square. I did straighten up a little bit with my motor mover, but I reversed on. Go me. And yes, once we arrived, I found that everything was still in place on the floor. The cupboards were all still fine. Nothing was broken or damaged. Um, yeah, so I obviously loaded her all right. Towed her all right. Arrived all right. So we're doing well. And now we're going to settle down for the evening. Or rather, we are settled down for the evening. The sun will be going to bed shortly. Um, and then... We'll start tomorrow, hopefully with cheerier weather, but at least daylight because it is absolutely pitch black outside. As you can see, I'm very wet. I can't do that one handed, I'll have to do that in a minute. Yes, from us, Harry Chicken is loving it, Amber is loving it, and the boy child is loving it. If you liked this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!